Hello there, very good Saturday evening to all our viewers. We are coming to you live and direct from the news studios here in Colombo this afternoon on Lunchtime News. We start off today with a look at the headlines. Suspect of the double murder in Darunyagala arrested. One injured following a blast at a private bank in Kalevala. Nine persons arrested for killing 12 dolphins in Trinkamali. Starting off with our lead story this afternoon, our police said that the suspect in the recent double murder in Magaladarinagala was arrested this morning while in hiding in the Sri Padu Reserve. Police have taken into custody a knife from the 19-year-old suspect's possession as well as clothing items worn by him. Now a 7-year-old girl and a 45-year-old were hacked to death in Darunyagala on the 6th of March. Preliminary investigations revealed that the incident had taken place as a result of a land dispute. Meanwhile, parliamentarian Bandula Gadawadhan arrived at the Presidential Commission of Inquiry appointed to investigate the issuance of Treasury bonds at the Central Bank to provide a statement this morning. Examination of evidence commenced at 10 a.m. today. Police said that an individual sustained injuries when a hand grenade blasted in the generated room of a private bank in Kalevala, Dambulla, this morning. The injured individual is being treated at the Dambulla hospital and doctors say his condition is not critical. Investigations have been launched into the incident. And onto a story that created headlines this afternoon. Now, nine persons have been arrested in Trincomalee for killing 12 dolphins. Police found the suspects when they were towing the killed dolphins who had been trapped in the sense connected to the trawlers. The officers of the Trincomalee Crime Prevention Unit had arrived at the location to conduct a search based on a tip off that a school of dolphins had been trapped in the same. <laughs> When confronted, the fishermen reiterated that they had released the dolphins that were trapped. However, having conducted further investigations, the police had discovered the bodies of the dead dolphins. Dolphins are a protected species in Sri Lanka. An environmentalist, attorney at law Jagat Gunabodhana, said that killing dolphins was a punishable crime. It's from the political arena now an event to mark the International Women's Day was organized by the Women's Rights Movement yesterday. Ambassador of Cuba to Sri Lanka, Joanna Elena, was the chief guest of the event, which was held in the public library auditorium. The keynote speech was delivered by General Secretary of the JVP, Tilvin Silva. We will end the slavery which had consumed us throughout the history. If you believe that you can save the new generation from this slavery, you can do this. We were considered as second-class citizens for all these years. We were living on sympathy. Why do we need sympathy? We don't need to get 25% because of sympathy. We will give the first priority to women. They don't need sympathy. You have rights. You have your responsibilities. You can win your rights for all the responsibilities, commitments and the strength you possess. We need to create a suitable environment for that. Well, with that, we wrap up this edition of Lunchtime News. Thank you very much for stopping by. The latest and trending stories follow us on our website, www.newsfirst.lk. We'll see you again at 1.55 with the latest.